Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I've had a couple of requests for it for a while to have another look through my planner and just see how it's changed the setup. So let's go ahead and have a look inside. All right, so in theory, in practice, it's, it's exactly the same as it always been. I've just added some parts to the back of it and the front of it that I thought I'd show you. So at the front, when you open it up, this is still my Kiki K A5 navy blue planner it's still my holy grail planner and i love it uh, the front is still set up very much the same i have a little kiki k affirmation card i have a picture i have some um pretty things in here so i've got a planners anonymous quote card tag a little quote from endota a little clip from uh simply danny and then in here i don't think i have anything in the zip i don't i have nothing in the zip and then back here, I have two things. I have a little pouch uh, from Desley that I've got some stickers in here that I made. And then I've got some footy stickers that Denise made for me that I actually didn't get around to using this year, but they're in there for if I need them for next year. So I'll just put them back in there. And then I've got my birthday book uh, that I made a couple of weeks ago. It's the Erin Condren one that I've just given a new cover. Uh, but that's where that lives it just sort of slides in there so that way i can check it at the start of each month when i set up my monthly and i know which birthdays are coming up from there i've got my little self-care um, bookmark that i made i'll tag or not tag sorry i'll link anything that i've shown like in detail so the making the book and then making the bookmark um, i will leave i'll put in the description box down below but i've got that there as well and then when you move into the actual planner, so these are from Kayser Craft. This is just a bit of acetate, which at this point is very old, and very dirty, but that's okay. Uh, and then uh, just a dashboard that I've made with Kayser Craft paper. I have my little manifesto on the front that I did in a Kiki K workshop. I actually don't remember which workshop it is. So I have a piece of dog hair here, which I'm trying to get out. Uh, so that lives there. And then I've got my um, Luscious Labels 2020 little calendar, which I've got on a backing of uh, Planners Anonymous paper from Northern Lights. I will admit I didn't use this and I don't really feel like going back and using it now. It was the, I will do more of and less of in 2020. I feel like everyone's 2020 got thrown out the door. It is still here because it's more I want to remind myself that I want one of these for 2021. Um, but yeah, I definitely did not get to using that this year, which is sad because it was a fantastic insert. I also didn't get any further than four books, <laughs> but the year's not over yet. Um, and this was just a printable, I just printed it on um, nice paper and I was just colouring them in as I went, but yeah, I think I only got to four books. And I also have my little pocket here, there's nothing in it at the moment, but sometimes I put stickers in it, put receipts in it, I put um, letters and things like that in it when I need to be carrying them around. Then I move into my sort of weekly pages that you guys see all the time, so I've got July, August, September, October, November, December in here. These are just plain normal. You guys see these every week, so I won't go too far into those. I have added something to the start of September. So just to show you, at the start of each month, this is what my kind of blank setup looks like, which is I have a blank dot grid, which is where I put my monthly, which I'm gonna be showing you this month how I set that up. So look for that in the next couple of weeks. On the back of that, I have my plain dinner plan, which can just write those out. I have another plain dot grid, and then I go into my my weeks sort of as they go along and then all I've done here is this is the setup of it so you've got the setup of September the dinner plan and then rather than having the blank page here I stuck in the spring bucket list from Chasing Planner Peace because I want to start trying to tick some of these off or colour them in or whatever um, as we move into spring I'm going to try and come back to this and try and use it except for this one because I don't want to do any spring cleaning uh, at the back so once you get into December's in here as per normal in the blank one I have here at the back, because I actually have 13 tabs, these are from May Paper Co and I still love them. Um, from the, the blank tab at the back, this is where I've got my pregnancy planner and this is from Chasing Planner Piece. Um, I've just got the first or the second and third trimester in here. It did come with the first trimester, but I pulled it out. I'm now past that, so I figured it's just easier to go with this. I haven't set it up yet. I haven't started using it properly yet. That's my big challenge. For the next couple of weeks is to actually use this and get into the habit of using it because I will admit I have not been using my planner quite as much as I should be but they are they are here so I should use them I have got my things to buy 
hold on I'll show you a little bit through these inserts as well just so you in case you haven't seen them before and just let me know if you'd like a further in-depth look at these so you come with a three month kind of perpetual calendar that you can just sort of fit in there um, like I said this is the second trimester so I've got each week has its own little spread so what do you feel like what questions do you have what cravings have you had um, and then things to do this week week start date tracking each day did you have your vitamins did you do exercise did you do something self-care wise and you do that every week so 17 18 etc etc and it has in their baby as big as a grapefruit cauliflower uh, and then you get to the third trimester which is exactly the same just continues on the same way I do love the little things that they're the big as it makes me happy and then you've got another section at the back here which is the getting ready section and this is where we have actually started to fill some things in so you've got your boys names and your girls names you're not going to see any of those because the names are already picked decisions to make pram and stroller planner things to buy so we've sort of started writing things in here uh, as we sort of have thought of them meals to freeze we'll probably fill it a bit earlier a bit later sorry I've got a couple of grid things, so if you want to plan out your nursery, because this is your nursery planner, so your theme, your inspiration, your colour palette, and then you can actually map it out on this little grid, which is really cool. Baby shower, birth plan, this has got your appointment section, so I'm going to start putting the appointments in as of this week, so I've missed the first trimester completely, but I can continue to keep them as I go. I'm also going to bring in anything I've got, so all my photos, I might make myself a little envelope or maybe move maybe move this envelope to the back and keep all the, the letters and all the um, pieces, pieces of paper and photos and stuff I might keep them all with with this at the back and uh, then you've got the arrival section so you've got the baby is here so the name birth date midwife birth weight first visitors first 24 hours please 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 say we can have visitors by the time we get to March and then you've got a couple of blank pages there which you can stick some photos on or anything you wanted and that's the the end of it you've also got the birth story at the back so that's the pregnancy planner and that's just going to live at the back of my planner especially while it's just six months worth in here i'll work out when we get to january if maybe i just don't put the second six months of 2021 in here just to make it not quite so bulky then at the back the other thing that i've had in here is these are from these are from chasing planet piece as well i think these were from not the last so it wouldn't have been the august not the august it wouldn't have been the july box it would have been the may box uh, so these have got podcasts to listen to and tv shows to watch i haven't filled in the tv shows to watch but the podcasts i'm pretty big on my podcasts uh, so i keep track of sort of what what i've been listening to i haven't been giving them ratings because i just sort of haven't done that much so these are my true crime podcasts so i've sort of got who who makes the podcast so which company so podcast mama mia acast etc what the title is what day it comes out so i can sort of keep tracking it um, and then i've got some history ones and some footy ones and some funny ones they all live over there but i've still got plenty of room to fill in some more i'm not quite there yet and then obviously tv shows to watch as well i have this really cool sort of back dashboard that i made from Planners Anonymous paper like ages and ages and ages ago and I just keep it there. The reason that it's sort of there is usually there would be the last week of December which would be a plain bit of paper that would sit here. This one just happens to finish on the 31st so it doesn't have the second bit but under normal circumstances that would be there and that's why that clips there because it just sort of keeps the year finished up. I have a little shaker at the back that again is made from Planners Anonymous. I think this was the first shaker I ever made and I absolutely love it so that's why it stays here and then at the back I've got this pocket from May Paper Co that keeps just the essential stickers in it so I've got a little post-it note section or post-it note thing I've got some Instagram Facebook and uh, YouTube stickers from Lily and Lion I love those so they have to come I have some sort of important planner words from Barney and Moon and some stars the stars are really good if I sort of have something I need to remember I'll stick it down so it's shiny and it jumps out in my brain some happy birthdays from Ellie Bell Prince because I put those ten or tend to put those on the front of my monthly spreads Jim not that we're going at the moment but they're there some pretty icons and some more icons from uh, Lily and Lion and then I keep some dots back here because I find colored dots are very helpful especially if I want to color code anything or bring attention to something so I have a bunch here from luscious labels that live in there as well. I love these pockets from May Paper Co. They are fantastic. 
Uh, so then the last thing that's sort of back here is the other six months worth of my um, tabs. They just live here just so that there's somewhere for them to be. Something I've noticed, which it shouldn't be not there, I took it out and I just realised I hadn't put it back in, um, <laughs> is my notepad, which I keep my to-do notepad in here. I do, I may change this out for the notepad that came and I happen to have this box sitting on my desk, so hold on. We may make a change right now. I may put this one in instead. So this is the today one from the last Chasing Planet Peace box. I may change this up just for a while, considering I haven't had it in there anyway. It's because that to-do list has been living on my desk. So I have this one in here for a change. This is the um, one that I got out of the last Chasing Planet Peace box. And I really like that it sort of blocks out your day. You got your top three things you need to do and then obviously a daily to-do list. So that's everything in my planner. She is a little chunky at the moment. She's not insanely chunky. I can still shut the lid without too much of a, shut the button without too much of a problem. Um, but it's got everything in it I need. And especially at the moment with us not going anywhere, or me not going anywhere, I don't mind the chunkiness of it. I don't mind it being a bit heavier because it's not going to cause me a problem. And I think that, I think that's really good. I think she can be chunky now and I'll cull her if I have to a bit later on. So I'd love to know what you have in your planner other than just your daily, weekly kind of spreads. Um, I'm never quite sure. I think, I think having the setup is completely up to you. It's whatever's working. I don't need to keep the podcast stuff in here. I just like to have it. And that way if I come up with a new podcast or I hear about one, I can just write it down and I can go and look at it or listen to it. Um, and I, I like having those specific places to write certain things. I also really do love, I love this little idea. I actually have come to it a couple of times and gone, okay, what can I do? What, I've got 10 minutes. What, what can I do to make myself feel better? Um, and stuff like lighting a candle or just going and standing outside just does it. So yeah. Very, very happy with my planner set up at the moment. So thank you to all of those who did request this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. If you need any more information about anything you've seen, please leave me a comment down below or you can find me on any of my socials. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.